confessed what he believed. See, in business, you have to make it personal. The spirit of the business is the brand. Damon John has a number one clothing line, not because it was just clothes, it's because of the brand. He built the brand, he's a brand master. Nike's cost five bucks to make and 225 to buy. You're buying a $200 spread on the brand. See, they sold you on the spirit of it. Chick-fil-A has a spirit. And if you teach people spirit, they'll understand what spirit is. Spirit is words. So we train them on words. You can't work with me and not say the right thing. You say the wrong thing, you get the wrong thing. The power of life and death is in your tongue. It's not in poor people, it's not in rich people, it's not in racist, it's in your words. See, people think words are sound. Maya Angelou said they're things that go into the fabric of clothing. She said that someone can hit you and you'll leave the room and say, I'm never talking to them again, but if they say something and you love them in spirit, every time you think about what they said, you get just as angry weeks later, months later, because it's spirit. See, spirit is where the corporations are missing it. This is the reason why they can't get attendance. This is why they can't get people to show up. This is why people don't feel like a win for the company is a win for them. Hell, you're bringing all of the motivational speakers to the executives and the sales force. You did a retreat for the sales team. What about the poor guy who makes 10 bucks? He's the one who wants to go to Capitol Grill and sit with the owner. So my wife and I take him to eat with her. Why not? He didn't know he had long shoes until I told him to get dressed or come on out. See, if you treat them like billionaires, they'll see themselves that way. The spirit of the business is the brand itself. All I want America to understand is that Memphis is the place. God said the last shall be first and the first shall be last. We're last. We're the poorest city in the country. We were named the fattest city in the nation. We were also called the most crime-ridden city in the nation. Well, in 1857, the poorest people in the country became some of the wealthiest. They hit the gold rush at the right time. See, Memphis is home to the freight rush. They keep opening up 240. They keep putting in I-69 that connects Canada to Mexico. Nike can storm in Oregon. They don't storm there, they storm here. They don't make them here, they make them in China. It's easier to ship them from China to Oregon for less money to know FedEx is gonna charge you to come get them. Store them here, they'll get them for free. See, everybody's coming here because FedEx is here. They have no choice. The poor people have the chance to become rich in the next 10 years. I gotta make logistics sexy. This is what we're doing. <laughs> Kevin, you want to go after him or no? <laughs> <laughs>